G'day, it's Craig from Australia. Coach Craig Rowe here with another Office live stream. So wherever you're joining me in the US, welcome. Today I'm going to be going through a lot of items. I think I've got like 32 in the carousel. So firstly, thanks for joining me. If you are a brand and or seller that's looking for someone who can help you get your products in front of people here on the Amazon platform, then please connect with me. I am located in Australia, thus the Australian accent, uh, and you can send products to me for me to help your customers understand what you have available here on the platform. And if you are a customer and you're wanting to know anything about anything I share here today, then make sure you connect with me in the chat and ask any questions and or say hello. So. I do these live streams once a week at the moment, and today I thought I'd throw at you a whole heap of office items that I use here in the studio that help me get through my day here at work. So if you're in a workplace or workspace, then some of these items that I share with you today are going to resonate with you. Some may not, but I would ask that you stick around because you don't know necessarily what I'm going to share. And uh, we're going to start with the very first item today on the list, which is a hugely popular item, which is the mouse. So I'll just show you the mouse and we'll talk about it. So this mouse is a Logitech mouse. So Logi's renowned for obviously making some really good you know, peripheral type equipment for PCs. And this one's no exception. It is a 2.4 gigahertz wireless mouse. And as you'd expect from most mice these days, they're quite ergonomic. It's a nice build. It's plastic um, and has diff comes in different colors, this one. Uh, you also get a battery, interestingly, with this. So I thought that was a bonus. I wasn't expecting it. Most mice don't ship with batteries. You also have your USB adapter there that you would plug into a computer. Now, I won't plug it in to show you how it works because it does work like you would expect as a, a mouse. Uh, and it is and has recently been, you know, a, a good deal here on uh, the platform. So if you're looking for a deal, you can check out the carousel. Uh, it is on discount at the moment. How long for? I don't know. But I would say that if you're looking for a mouse or a whole heap of mice for that matter, what's that, Mises? I don't know what the plural is of mouse, mice, mice. <laughs> so if you're looking for um, some mice for the office, then that is the first item on the carousel that I wanted to talk about today, uh, the M185. Uh, Logi tends to last a good amount of time too. So if you're, uh, if, you know, you're looking for a mouse that's, you know, tried and tested over a period of time, then the Logi brand is relatively well known. And I'll be showing some other products. We're talking about some other of their products today in today's live stream. So I can see someone there joining us. So if you want to say g'day in the chat, I am Coach Craig Rowe. Thanks for joining me. Just let me know where you are. And if you have any questions on today's live stream and I can help, I'm more than happy to help give information about the products that I'm holding in my hand as much as I can share and tell to help you make purchasing decisions that are informed. So that's my goal here is to help you make informed purchasing decisions. So this next item I really like is a series of pens, Pigma pens. You can see them there in the carousel and they come in packets. But what I like about them, they're artistic pens. So if you're someone that say draws manga or you're an artist, and you need fine point pens, then you can't go wrong with this brand. And what I like about the pack is it comes with all the different sizes that you would actually need to produce and draw. So you can see on the bottom of the pack there, you have your 0 0.05, 0 0.1, to you know, a whole heap of different widths of your different tips and nibs, and they're really fine. So I'll just show you here how fine these can get. So just as I do, I write Amazon. And if you're someone, you can hardly see that there because it is such a fine point on that pen. You can see it there. And then you have like your more, your signature pens and different types of nibs. So still fine point. And if you're someone who, you know, needs to draw with accuracy, sorry for my terrible handwriting, but if you need to draw with accuracy, then this is a pack of pens that's going to help you do that. Uh, they're really well made, as you can see. They're called Micron. So they're Micron pens, and you can see there's different numbering here. And 
they're really well made. Their Sakura is the brand, and Pigma is, I guess, the, the the series. And if you're someone who say draws or needs, you know, drafting or some sort of thing like that, these pens may well be useful to you. So that's uh, a series of pens that I think are really good given the variety and the number of sizes that they have that are available there. So this next item I bought recently is actually a printer. Now, I had a printer for years, a color laser. I'm a laser guy, so I don't go much on the like the monochrome and or inks, inkjet printers. Not to say they're bad or anything like that. I, I have used them and I do have one at home, but for the office, because of the sheer volume of printing that I do, I often use color lasers. And my last laser lasted me up until this year, about 12 years. So I get a lot of use out of these laser printers. And they do tend to last a long time and the consumables for them are quite affordable. So I'm going to show you a video of what I decided to buy for my office in the last six weeks, given that my loved uh, color laser printer ended up parting company with me here at the office. So I'm gonna play a video of what I produced as a shoppable video so you can see what I actually bought. And since I've used it for the last six weeks, I'm happy to talk about it and share it with you to let you know what I actually um, think of it. I colored laser printer at the office. I was in the market for another printer. So I checked out online to see what was available and I looked at the HL L3230 from Brother. It has Wi-Fi, Ethernet connection as well as USB. It also has air print for Apple. It also does duplexing. You can see here it has some nice large size cartridges that have a yield of about 1200 for the color and 1500 for the black. It was really easy to set up. It also came with a user manual and a CD. I don't know that anyone uses CDs these days, but you can download the drivers from the internet as well. So I set it up and I hit print and it works, so I'm happy. I hope if you're looking for a laser printer that you'll be as happy as I am with this purchase. So that's what I use at the office now is the Brother printer that I just shared with you, which I'll just move it in the carousel so you can have a look at the L3230 CDW. So all these numbers, uh, make sure you get the right one. You can check it out in the carousel. I'm pretty on transfer paper for my academy. So what you saw spitting out in that video there was actually a document that I use at my academy. So a lot of people here on Amazon in the messages or in the chat have asked me what type of coach I am. So I'm actually a basketball coach and I have a YouTube channel, that's the Amazon Influencer Program. But I also am a podcaster and a content creator, which you can obviously see here behind me. So not only do I do the basketball, I have a background in journalism. and as part of my business, I have a lot of things that I use and I need a laser printer because of the quality that they produce and the la how long the toner lasts. And this printer I've had for six weeks now, it does duplexing. So that's good as a, a saver of, of paper. So if you're someone that's conscious of the environment, this is an environmentally friendly product. That's one of the reasons I chose it is because it, I, I knew that with duplexing, I'm going to save a lot of money on paper and help the environment at the same time. It is energy rated. It's quite efficient. It's quiet operation. I'm very happy with that. I don't, didn't want something that's going to make a lot of noise while I'm working if I'm printing off a large amount of documents. And this certainly is a item, this Brother printer is one that, you know, isn't going to make a lot of noise while you're at work. So um, certainly a, a really good product that I've added to my office here and one that I would recommend not only to you here on Amazon but to my family and friends if they're looking for a color laser given the experience I've already had with it. It has a really good sheet feeder uh, of about 250 sheets. It all has the single sheet feed and as you heard in the video there it has wireless, USB and or Ethernet connection. Uh, as well, which is good because if you're on a network and you need to connect it or, you know, you want to connect at the office to a network so that more than one computer can print to it, you have that option as well. And I connected to the Wi-Fi here uh, and it certainly hasn't dropped out of the Wi-Fi or anything like that. So something for you to consider. And if you're looking, I'm just moving along in the carousel here. If you're considering what paper you might want to use or choose for um, printing with a with a um, 
printer, color laser, then I choose the Office uh, 20 paper from HP. And uh, it's a bright white paper. Um, you can get it in multiple reams. I, I think it comes in boxes of five. And uh, if you're looking for a high quality a good brand that's uh, reputable when it comes to your paper, then you can, you're can. you not going to go past the uh, office paper from HP. I thought they'd throw that in there, given I was talking about a laser printer. Took the opportunity to share that so that you uh, can check it out in the carousel if you ever wonder what a basketball coach uses, what paper they use to print on, then that's going to help you there. So I'm going to move along to a, another item quickly in the carousel here, which is, it is... This one, I'll just put it under there. And uh, yeah, it's a signature pen. So if you're someone who signs your name at work and wants a pen that's designed to be good for signatures, so this is in the calligraphy category of pens. If you're someone who wants a pen, if you can sort of see it there, it has this long brush-like looking nib and it's really good for you know signing your name. So. Similar to the Sharpie brands, if you want something that you can sign your name with, then this is a lightweight pen that has a really nice action when you write with it. It has a really well-designed nib for signing your signature. So if you're someone who's famous, you know, if you're a person like a superstar watching right now, I don't know who's watching, then this Pentel pen is a good item. You can see it, the Pentel Feud Touch signature pen. Uh, something that's affordable and something you can easily carry in a bag when you need to sign those autographs and or important documents where your signature needs to be easily read. So certainly a simple product, a simple office product that I use here in the office. So moving along to the next item in the carousel, it's another video which I'll share with you. It does take a little, a few seconds for me to get these videos up and share them. Um, and this is actually a computer monitor and uh, it's the Lenovo 27 inch. And I purchased this for my mother at home and I'll explain in the video why I bought it. And I've also got the device as well that I uh, bought it for, but I'll let the video do the explanation. I'll just get it up and get it ready. So if you're looking for a 27 inch screen, then Lenovo is renowned for its quality. And this one certainly does not disappoint. The L27 E30 is a 27 inch full HD LED backlit LCD free sync screen. And it is in the ultra slim category with a 178 degree wide viewing angle. It's perfect for PC use and office use and it also has a visa mount. In this case, I've actually purchased this and installed it in my mother's craft room so that she can use her digital magnifier from a yo-yo. So really nice screen. I like the build of it. Obviously, Lenovo is a reputable brand, so I don't think you can go wrong with something from this particular family of monitors. I hope this helps you make a purchasing decision and maybe we'll catch up in a future video. So that's the Lenovo that you can see there, The uh, 27e l27e in the video now as i said i purchased that screen for my mother who has macular degeneration because she actually uses a, a magnifier to help her see what she's doing when she's in her craft room i'm going to also show you a video of the magnifier and i have the magnifier here because it is an item that's available on amazon so if you know anyone who is you know hard of seeing or visually impaired then i'm uh, going to share another item or another thing that I've done to help my mother navigate the world a little bit better with her macular degeneration condition that she lives with. So I thought this would be useful to share because some people may not know some of these items exist. So I thought I would share it here on the Amazon platform so that you get to understand. Now, as far as the monitor is going, my mum absolutely loves the monitor that I chose. So you can see it there in the carousel, the Lenovo L27e. It is a slim monitor, so it doesn't take up a lot of space, which is actually the main reason we purchased that for her craft room. She was using this big old, I don't know what it was, like a Hitachi or something, big old L, uh, LCD screen that just took, took up half of the desk that she was wanting to create rag rugs on. So if you're familiar with rag rugs, that she wanted to create rag rugs on this particular table, but this TV was taking up so much room. So we looked online to see not only what was on sale, what deal was available, but also what had some good ratings. And if you have a look there, it's a, it's a well-rated uh, 
screen. So this was in that video that I just shared, but I'm going to go and show you another video here and uh, I'll just get it up and ready and go full screen on it. So if you do have any questions about anything that I share on the platform, then please feel free to ask or say a comment in the comments below. Feel free to say hello to wherever you are in the world. I'm located in Australia, as I said, and uh, I'm Coach Craig Rowe. So I want to say thanks for being here and watching the products that I'm sharing here today that are office-related products, so you can use these in the office. So I'm going to get this one up, ready to play, and we'll uh, talk about it as well, and we'll do a bit of show and tell, and uh, let's have a look. So you've landed on the Yoyo Portable Digital Video Magnifier. So if you're someone who's visually impaired or has deteriorating vision, then this may help you improve the ability to read text. It's quite portable. You can take it in your bag and use it to read price tags at a shopping center. It has a five inch screen here and it has multiple modes that can help you depending on what your visual impairment is. It has voice prompts, which can help you work out what each button does. You have the ability to zoom in in and zoom out when it's unplugged from HDMI the five inch screen will display and give you the ability to place this over something at a close distance it also has the ability to read things from a far distance you can see it has some LED lights under there which are activated when you hit the close distance button I think this is a really useful item for people who need to improve their vision and therefore their quality of life so if this is something you've been looking for then hopefully this video has helped explain what is it is and how it can help you and I'll see you in a future video. So you can see this is the item here. It's the Yo-Yo uh, digital magnifier and I have modified it I must admit. I put it on a scissor arm. Actually I might show you here. I actually modified this so this isn't you can see I added this. This is it doesn't come with it but it comes with a handle that is removable and also, as I showed in the video, like you have a battery pack there. You can buy extra batteries for this item. Uh, and it basically switches on and you can plug it into a TV. So you can have a HDMI connection and it allows you to do zoom in and zoom out. And also it allows you to uh, go long distance. So, or, so that's a long distance viewer. I can't really show it because I have long distance then you have you, you close the distance. It also talks. I'm not sure if you can hear that as I push the button. So it helps people who are visually impaired actually see different things. So it's saying zoom out, zoom in. So if you're someone who has poor vision and you're, say, at a shop and you want to, like, read the back of something, then this is something that may well help you achieve that result. The other thing it has, which I find is really good, is mode, a mode switch, which allows you to look at different colors. So if you're someone who struggles to see different colors, you can see it's changing the different things there. I'll see if I can get something that's a bit clearer. Actually, we'll go with the Sharpie pen and see what it does. Uh, so probably not the best item there to show but that's the yo-yo uh, like magnifier uh, this is an affordable item compared to some of the ones on the market what i did is i attached it to a scissor arm so that it could be adjusted and out of the way of the hands of my mum who wants to do crafts still and while she can't do some of her finer needlework she used to do when she was younger she is able to make things like rag rugs and things like that so putting this on a scissor arm or modifying it so that it can go up and down and the hands are free underneath it was a really good option for her because the alternative to that was actually a $5,000 machine that did much the same as this, but you were unable to move your hands underneath it freely, which was a limiting factor and it took up the whole desk. So she couldn't actually use the desk. So I found this on Amazon and decided I'll modify, adjust and adapt it to allow her to be able to do what she needs to do and not have the expense of that larger machine. Like if you're someone who has someone you know who has that condition of macular degeneration, then that Yo-Yo five inch handheld uh, portable digital magnifier is an option and it, it fits in a handbag or a bag so it can be taken shopping and also, like I said, it has long distance, short distance. And the good thing is, is when you push the buttons, it actually talks to you as well. So you know what button you're actually 
pushing. Not that there's a lot of buttons in there, but it tells you whether you're zooming in, zooming out, whether you're changing the mode, and you can obviously see the mode. What I showed in the video prior to that was also uh, the ability to create horizontal and vertical lines. So if you're reading a document, whatever feels comfortable for you, you can read the document word by word or uh, character by character. So a really useful item that I thought I'd share today, given it certainly helps my mum in her day-to-day -day solve the problems and the challenges that she has with macular degeneration. I'll just move on to this next one, which is, what is what is it, the big, oh, this, this is one of my favourites because I grew up with these as kids and I do use them around the office because I, I love products that are really super smart and you may have seen this before. This is the Bic Four Color Ballpoint Pen and you may have grown up with these. I used to use these at school all the time and they always, you know, were a, a go-to um, product, right? Like a go-to pen, I should say pen. It wasn't a product back then. I didn't see it as a product, now I do. Um, they were a go-to pen, right? So you have the ability to write in any number of colors and uh, they're just a retractable ballpoint medium tip and if you're someone who's you know working with numbers so accountancy or bookkeeping then these are a solution this is a solution to having multiple pens all right so you can see green red blue black i mean you don't need any other sort of color to write with with one of these pens and They've just been, again, another tried and tested product and one that brings back a lot of nostalgia when I use it because this is pretty much the pen that a good portion of us probably have grown up with uh, if you're my age. I'm not sure what kids are using these days, but, you know, the Bic 4 colour ballpoint pen is a winner and it always has been a winner and hasn't changed its design from what I can see. I'm sure it has, but it's still lightweight, still lets you select the four. When you push a one down, um, the other one pops up. I'm not sure if I can show that. I'm not sure if you're familiar with it, but basically you push another one down, the other one pops up. So you just like change your color by dragging it down and it's changing to the color that you want and a really useful item to add to the office, particularly, like I say, if you're using a whole heap of different colored pens in your day to day. And actually I share one of the things that those are really useful for too is if you if your kids struggle to learn and you help them with their homework then colored pens of any nature will help them retain stuff so a lot of time people just write with one color and if you write in multiple colors and you use symbols as well it makes stuff sticky so if you're not aware of that having a pen like that or giving that to your kid and encouraging them to help them remember write things in different colors it'll actually help them retain uh, you know, things that they're trying to learn. So a lot of people don't know that color is a good way that we learn. Um, I learned that from a, a person here where I did his course on brain friendly training as a coach. Uh, I wanted to help my athletes improve um, and I wanted to understand how people learn. And that's one of the things that he shared is color is a way that we learn. So if you've got kids and you want to you know, not only brighten their day with some color, but help them learn and retain what they're learning or even for yourself, color pens. That's all I'm going to say. No more there. Color pens. All right. So I make a lot of mistakes in my life. I, I'm not going to lie. I keep getting this piece of paper, which may be, well, one of them. But if you need to correct your, um, if you look at the carousel, you need to make a correction of the mistakes you make in your life. I tell you what, I wish I had some of these more for, for more than just pens. But uh, yeah, then you're going to have this option of a, you know, whiteout correction and tape. And this stuff is like, for me, it's a no-brainer when you want to correct something on a page. It dries straight away. So you can literally write on this straight away. So if you do something or make a mistake and uh, you want to, you know, write on it, then you can write on that and then use your correction tape to, to fix it up, all right? And it's, it's a long tape, it's gonna last a long time. It's plastic, but it has this ergonomic design that fits with your thumb. And basically you just, as you saw, move it to the side and it's going to achieve the desired result you want, which is fixing some of your mistakes. I wish I had a big one of these for some of the ones, like I say, that I had made during my life that aren't related to pens someone needs to come up with something like that but that's the big wide out easy correct correction tape so something i use here at the office uh, this is the two pack it comes in a whole heap of different uh, packs 
Um, you can get, I think, a four pack and you can buy them in bulk if you're in an office environment. So something to consider if you haven't considered that before. So we'll move along now. I'm, I'm going to, I'm just throwing this one in because uh, I'm going to show you what I'm using as the device that I'm creating this live stream on today. So this live stream is being created on a Apple 8th gen iPad. So this is it here. I bought this during the pandemic and I find it a really useful tablet and computer PC and it is still available. And that's why I'm sharing it with you today because a lot of people uh, you know, may not be able to afford the latest iPad or something like that. Well, it's running the latest operating system and it certainly does everything I need it to do, including this live. It's actually what I'm using to produce this live stream is the Apple iPad uh, 8th gen, which was I think the 20, 2021 model. And it does everything I want. It's only a 32 gig. And when I say only a 32 gig, I say only because it does everything I want. So I didn't need to go and buy a larger one. And it's so responsive and it play, you know, runs all the apps that I wanted or want. And to date, it hasn't failed as far as the apps that I go to install. It's telling me that it'll always run those apps. So if you're looking for an iPad for your child or you and you don't want to break the bank doing so, then this one still is an option that's available to you here on Amazon. So something you might want to consider. So one of the items that I've uh, been looking at recently, I've been looking at a lot of items that um, I want to share with people that I use here in the office. So this is my second office live stream. And I always like pencils as opposed to pens. And I do have a pen here that's erasable, which I really like. Uh, but it's not available on Amazon, so I can't, I won't be sharing it with you. But another good option is a retractable pencil. And this one is a nice metallic build. It's, it's really well made. And I mean, not that you expect any less, I guess, of a brand that's been around a long time like Pentel. So it has an eraser in the head. It has extra leads uh, that it comes with. They're very hard to see, but they are sticking out there. So this is the 0.5 mil, which is what is represented by the number there. Uh, retractable pencil from Pentel. It's called a graph gear. And um, when you push the button to to open it, it actually extends the head of the pencil so that you can then, you know, write as you see fit. And I do like fine pens and markers. I have this affinity, I guess, with, with things that write quite fine. And what I like about obviously a pencil, you have um, the ability to erase things. So again, uh, in my life, I make many mistakes and I make mistakes if I'm using pens and pencils. So this is the sort of thing that, uh, you might want if you like me make mistakes so now the other thing that's really interesting and unique about it is it has a clip here at the uh, back which is where you clip it to say your pocket so so it has this clip here and when you actually click that you'll see that the head retracted so it makes it so when you stick it to your pocket it's not going to a jab you and b it protects the head so it doesn't get broken so i'll just show you that again so when i clip it if you look at the head of the pen the nib it retracts when i click that to stick it to say a pocket or something like that so you know when you think that you can't make a pen or a pencil better they come up with these little things that just you know, you go, wow, that's pretty cool. That's well thought out. So this is the sort of thing that drafts people may use. So if you're someone who draws plans and things of that nature, then these come in a whole series of thickness and widths. I use it at the office, like I say, because it's easy to write and correct things, particularly if you're writing long lists of things that you want to get done in the day. Um, instead of marking mine off, I rub them out, erase them from the history of the world when I'm doing a to get done type list or something like that. So Nice, useful item there. Check it out in the carousel if it's something that you know interests you. And being a retractable pencil, obviously you can buy extra leads here on Amazon as well while you're shopping. This is a really popular item, this next one. And I thought it was it's popular because you can buy them in bulk and it's one of the most common pens that are used in larger office environments. But it's the one that I use here that, you know, if I'm ordering a number of pens, then this is the one that I choose, which is actually the Bic Atlantis. This comes under the category of the glide pens. It is a medium nib again, as I said, I, I like fine nibs. I'm just trying to show you it there. So it has a rubber grip, so you can grip this quite easily and write, uh, you know, obviously your typical pocket clip there. 
um, and it's just a retractable ball point. One of the things I noticed about this ball point that I found intriguing, most ball points will click when you actually push the button in to extend the nib, but this one doesn't have a click. So whether that's part of the reason they're part of the glide category, I, I thought it was part of the glide ca category is because of the smoothness at which it writes and it does write smooth. The ball, ball in this ballpoint has this real flowing movement to it, doesn't feel rigid or anything like that. So again, you wouldn't think that you could talk too much about pen items, right? You wouldn't think that office items are something to, to write home about, excuse the pun, but you know, they are engineered in a way that they are meant to be ergonomic and useful over a long period of time. And I've experienced, I mean, I'm sure you have too, you know, getting a really bad pen and trying to write with it is pretty frustrating. It's a frustrating experience. So these big Atlantis are really popular, particularly with larger organizations, because you don't have the hassle of them, plus the affordability of buying in bulk. So um, I won't bang on about too much, except to say it is a really hard plastic retractable ballpoint. Um, and it does have that smooth action that they refer to in this category of, uh, you know, glide pens. So check it out there in the carousel. Moving on to the next office item that I wanted to share with you today. So I love whiteboards. So in their declaration, don't, don't hang me for loving whiteboards. They're everywhere in my office. I can't really, it's a dark office because I got the way everything's lit. But if I were to show you the office, I think everywhere you turn and everywhere you look, you're going to find a whiteboard and not only are you going to find a whiteboard, you're going to find a full whiteboard and I have different uses for them. But of course, if you're using a lot of whiteboards in your office space or office environment or workplace, then you need the right, you know, whiteboard markers. Now I'm going to share a couple of the earlier whiteboard markers that I used, but these days I gravitate to the dry erase markers from Expo. Now this is a kit. So this one comes with the eraser and you can buy the eraser separately. I'll just show it under here. You can buy the eraser separately as well, independent of the other pack. This is a good kit because it comes with all your different colors that you would need as a dry erase marker set. It also has a cleaning fluid as well. Now, this cleaning fluid isn't to be sprayed on the board and then used with this eraser to wipe it off. This is actually a cleaning fluid to clean your board should it get dirty over time. So you spray it and you can use another type of cloth. Um, with the dry erase eraser and dry erase markers, you won't need the cleaning fluid to get rid of those. You can almost use your finger. Unfortunately, I don't have a whiteboard here on my desk. Otherwise, I'd show you. I do have a whiteboard desk, believe it or not, over <laughs> where I do my video reviews. I can write on that with whiteboard. And if you want to check out and follow me here on the Amazon platform, you'll see the video where I demonstrate on that desk, which is a review desk where I can write on it. That's um, part of the unique feature of the, the desk that I have to do reviews on is I have the ability to write and wipe it away. This item here, uh, again, uh, is a really useful item for the office. They are a chiseled design, this one, so you can see the chiseled edge. You can get them in a pointed edge as well. Again, all your common colors, similar to the BIC that I described before. You know, you have your red, your blue, your green, and your black, and that's all you need. I mean, they're the four core colors that we use in our day to day. And again, something that I would say you should consider. What makes them unique? I'm going to grab another set here of, of if you, <laughs> this is going to show you I really do love whiteboards, is another set of Expo markers. But these are your vibrant colors. So if you're not happy with just red, you know, green, black, and blue that I just shared with you. If you look at the carousel, you can get the Expo Low Odor, which is that, that's another attribute of these that's really good. Um, you can get the vibrant color set, right? So you're probably gonna get just about every color or variation that you'd ever want. And as I said earlier, when I was talking about colors, it makes things sticky. So if you're pitching in a meeting and you want to make people remember what you're pitching, then using different colors is one of the things we use to adapt to learning. So a lot of people don't realize that. If you think about signage on the road and all the things that you're doing in your day to day, there's a lot of color coding. I remember my last live stream, I showed people the Rodecaster Pro 2. So if you're interested in podcasting, you can check that live stream out. I showed a whole heap of content creation equipment and it's all color coded. And I said, it makes it foolproof when you use color. So as, as terrible as that sounds, if um, we can 
dumb things down for ourselves so that we learn easier, then color is one of the easiest ways we can do that. So having a variety of colors is going to help people better understand what you're trying to explain when you're pitching and or selling uh, in a meeting um, and or solving or serving them in a meeting, whichever you perceive you're doing. So yeah, Expo Dry Race Markets. Now, the last thing I want to say about this set and the other one that I just shared is that when the caps left off, and this is a bugbear of mine that I've shared here in a previous live stream on office stuff, is a lot of markers actually dry out. But with dry race from Expo, what happens is you can leave the lid off accidentally. And if you put the cap back on after about 24 hours, it rejuvenates itself. If you can get those for your office, I don't think you'll look back um, as far as markers go. So something to consider. All right, on to the next one. Um, we're talking about glide pens. I've got to find this one. This one's somewhere else, and I'm not sure where I did with it. Oh, this, <laughs> here it is here. So this is similar to the – this is a pilot pen, this pen here. So it's similar to the Atlantis pen that I just shared from Bic, but this is Pentel's version, I guess. Um, now, if I were to compare the two, I do find them extremely similar ballpoints. This is the G2 from Pilot. You can see it, 0.38. So it is a fine point. The other one was a medium point. You can hear that click that I was talking about that is absent from the Bic that I shared with you before. It is a similar design. So if we look at them side by side, you're going to see it's almost like one may well be ripping the other off. What are the differences? I guess they both have rubber grip. This one has a more, it's more indented and, and a different type of style of grip. It actually has some grooves in there that match where you'd put your fingers. Uh, and it also is quite lightweight. The other one's similar weight. It's slightly thicker too as a ballpoint. So if you prefer something that sits in your hand that's slightly wider, then this might be a better option for you. It is again in the category of like smooth or glide pens and uh, it is really good to write with. Now, when I write with this, it is a finer point. So you can see there, top left here, it's a fine point pen similar to the one that I showed you at the start of the live, uh, which was a felt tip pen. This is a ballpoint pen but you can see the similar width there is quite fine. So not a bad option if you're looking for a finer point pen that, and you're not looking at, say, the felt tip pen, which I showed you earlier from uh, Sakura, then that pen is an option for you. So you can check that out, um, as I say, in the carousel. Moving on to this next item. So I already shared the Yo-Yo digital uh, magnifier that I purchased for my mum to help her with her macular generation. So one of the things I like to try and do is help solve problems for my mum if I can help find ways to help her navigate the world uh, better. And this is one of the things that I'm about to share with you that I worked out for her that seems to work for her and may work for someone in your life who also may have some form of visual impairment. And changing someone's world, uh, this was a Christmas gift, what I'm about to share with you, to my mum. I love my mum. If you haven't noticed, I've spoken about it a few times in this stream. But the reason I um, came up with this and I didn't want to insult her at Christmas time. So I gave her this ahead of Christmas and said, I don't know if this is going to help you, but I had an epiphany out at a store and I wanted to see if this helps you. And I used a white pencil at first and, she, and they kept breaking. But what I'm about to share with you is this. So what it is is black paper, which I don't and haven't looked for on Amazon here. I just got this from a craft shop and this white pen. So if you look in the carousel, you have this Uniball UM153 Signo pen, right? And it's a wide ink pen. Now you can get other wide ink pens, but I wanted to go with what worked. So this allows someone who is visually impaired the option of potentially seeing something that they wouldn't normally see because they can see lighter colors as opposed to darker colors. When, when it's black on white, it presents a lot of challenges for someone with macular degeneration. So if you're not familiar with MD, it basically your central vision, the pigmentation doesn't allow for acute vision. So you, it's cruel because you have peripheral vision so you can navigate the world, but your central vision is lost. So you can't see faces, you cannot see 
uh, writing and text on a page. So you can't read a book anymore. You can't read titles on YouTube. So anything that is a challenge, you know, you can try and get glasses and all these different devices that are gonna help you. But this was a problem that I wanted to solve for my mum in that I wanted her to be able to write a letter to someone or something like that. So having a white tip pen is a solution for someone like that may have macula or some other, you know, degenerative eye disease and or just poor visual impairment. And um, it might not be something you've considered. So in the carousel there, you can see the pen as a three pack. So if you think, and you can see they're popular, by the way, they're not just used for MD. This was used to solve that problem, but um, they can be used for any number of like art and crafts uses. And I think they're a really nice pen. And by the way, they are, I like the design of the pen. It's, um, it's white. It seems there's almost a, I think I'm holding that the wrong way. There's almost a purity to this, I'm trying to get it zoomed in there. Um, there's almost a purity to a white pen, right? It's like something about a pen because you see them all these different colors. There's something that just feels pure about not only a pen that's colored white, but also has white ink. It's just bizarre to hold a white pen and write on a black piece of paper as I've done there. And that's good, like I say, for people who are visually impaired. So something to consider. Also good as an artist, like I'm not an artist, but if I were, then maybe it would be something I'd explore is creating in a white ink. So hopefully that helps you. If you know someone who has a degree of visual impairment, it might be an option that you haven't considered to help them navigate the world better as I've done with my uh, mum. I want to say thank you for anyone who is watching here. I am in Australia. That's why the Australian accent. So I love the fact that I get to share my thoughts on the products uh, here on the Amazon platform. I tried to do once or so once a week. Um, I have covered a whole number of lives. So if you aren't yet following me, take a moment to hit follow. If you want to say g'day, then you're welcome to say g'day in the chat. And if you have any questions about any of the products that I share or am or have shared here on the platform, feel free to do that. Uh, last week I did three lives to catch up. So I did a sporting one because I am a sports coach, as I said. So Coach Craig Rowe, uh, Basketball Academy here in Australia and also YouTube channel. Um, and then you've also got... Um, some kitchen stuff. So if you like cooking, then last week's lives were kitchen stuff. So if you want to go check those out. And then I did a live stream on what I'm using, which I'll share a little bit later, which is uh, Rhodes Roadcaster products and uh, also microphone, which I have in the carousel, which brings me uh, to what I'm using for my top down camera. And if you're looking for a web camera for your uh, office, then this is a camera that's an option for you. If you're a gamer, it's an option. Uh, if you are a content creator like me and you want a top-down camera, then this is the option that I chose because it was an affordable option without getting a high-end DSLR or something like that. Um, it does a good job as a web camera. I think if I had a little bit more money, then I would be certainly changing this out as a top-down camera, but it serves its purpose for most of my live streams that I share with you. And I've got to go to a different camera for this one, uh, which is this camera angle, so I can show it to you, um, which is the this here. It's a Logitech C922 X Pro. So it's it's you can see modify, adjust, and adapt, right? It's just not a scissor arm, and I don't have an adapter for it, so I probably could get something, but... I'm a set and forget guy. I've shared that before. I'm a, I'm a set and forget guy. So what I do is I, once I, uh, you know, we have the technology, a little bit of duct tape never sort of went astray or some sort of tape just to solve a problem. <laughs> so so it, it sits there most of the day. I don't bump it. It's out of the way. But if you're looking for a camera that's, you know, 1080p, so HD ability to broadcast in high definition. It has the auto zoom too, which it's not, I wouldn't say it's bad because of what I'm asking it to do, but you can sort of see as I move it, it should so zoom. So you can see, oh, you're gonna see a product I'll be sharing later. So, but you can see how it's doing the auto focus. So that's something, you know, if you haven't considered, you know, a camera or you're looking for a web camera, that is a camera that a lot of live streamers and gamers actually use on YouTube. So it's one of the ones that's highly recommended and therefore I recommend it too and I do use it and I actually got it off you know, a YouTube channel that recommended it. So um, that's how I came to know about it as well. Available here on the Amazon platform. 
awesome for the office and or home. Um, and you can obviously take it with you. And it does actually have a mount. It just doesn't match with my scissor arm. And I could get an adapter, but I, I've just been lazy and not done that. So um, another item that I find really useful for my live streams, I'm sort of coming into some of the content stuff that I use that you may need for your office as well. And this is a, this has proved itself not only useful for my lives, but my eyesight's not the greatest either. Um, and that's the Tropical Tree LED desk lamp. So on the left-hand side of me is a lamp providing some light. It has three modes and it has an adjustable head. So what I'll do is I'll go to this. This camera is a bit, bit more portable, so it's a little bit easier to see. So if you have a look here, you can see this scissor arm that is up there. So this here, you can see it going all the way down. That is actually the Tropical Tree LED uh, lamp that you see there. It looks broader than it is. I can't really show you it's just bright, but it, it actually is a thin light, but it's casting a lot more light than I can show you. But I just have that attached to the base of this desk that I'm at here. And it's casting you know, light, as you can see, onto my face, because you can see the shadow. Um, if I go back to here, you'll see it's on this side. So see the shadow. And I find that that light provides a good amount of coverage for not only what I do here, but if I need to read in poor light, like so my eyes aren't the best, and there's fine print, then I can just turn that light on at my desk here in the office. And it provides me with every, um, you know, extra bit of light that I would need to reflect the characters that I'm trying to read. I do have glasses, but Sometimes I'm lazy and they're in a bag and I don't have them on the desk. I find turning on a light is another good way to help improve my vision. As I'm getting older, I must admit, it's sort of disappearing a little bit. I wanted to talk about this item too. This is um, actually next in the carousel. So if you check it out, if you're looking for an easy way to change the decor of a room of your office, this is one of the best ways. Now, I folded this up. It is portable. It's something you can store but it is actually the K Nodell desk pad. So if you're not familiar with these desk pads, again, hugely popular forks, leather desk pad that come in all sizes. So this is quite large. Now I use this one, and you could, I can almost dress myself in this, it's that big, but this one I, I, is actually a dark blue. I'm not sure you'll be able to see it, how it's well you'll see the color there, but it is like a, navy blue it's not actually a black um, it's very hard to see in this light it is a navy blue and it comes in a whole heap of different colors and if you're someone who is in an office environment when you want to actually change the look or appearance of a room then this is an easy way to do it the other thing is, is it comes with the other side so you can use either side and it is also waterproof and it comes with a a little like strap as well, which is embossed with Nodell's name, as is the corner of this. So uh, you can, I don't know if you see it on that camera, you can see it here, it's just embossed with their name, both on the mat and also on the strap. So it's something that you can use on your office desk to give it a different look. Now I purchased it for, um, reviews to give my reviews a little bit different look because they were showing a whole heap of uh, the same desk all the time and sometimes depending on the item that you're reviewing you don't always have a clear background it can be you know contrasting or white on white doesn't work well so white on black looks better or dark so that's why i bought the mat but if you're someone who say games or is around the office and you want to change the look of your office then a desk mat is one of the easiest ways to do that. And if you check the link out and you uh, go to the Nodell website, you're going to see not only do you have any, I don't know how many colors there are, there's probably like 16 different options. And I don't know if that's a guess, no, that is a lot. Um, and then you also have, um, they flip, so they have a second color on the other side. And not only are they waterproof and portable, easy to store, but you can change the look of your room just by having a couple of these things in the, the cupboard. And if you just want to, you know, you get bored with the same look or appearance and they say a change is a, as good as a holiday. And that's 
one of the recommendations I'd make is, you know, changing some of the colour again. I'm talking about colour today. In your space or your office is really important. We'll move along in the carousel and have a look at these. I actually... These I'll do together, but they are both in the carousel. So these are label bakers from Dymo. So if you're someone who needs to be organized and stay organized in your workplace or workspace, then you can't really go past label makers of any brand. I'm not going to, I am speaking this brand, but you know, there are other brands available, but this are the, are these are the two I settled on. You go, okay, well, why would you have two? Well, one is a handheld. So this is lighter weight and portable. You know, this is the handheld version and it's relatively lightweight. Main difference between the desktop model and this one is your keys are closer together and they're not as, as big, but all the functions and features you would expect of a label maker are actually built into this. Uh, but this one is relatively light. It's easy to install your cartridge that is for the different types of labels you may use. You can get paper labels, you can get matte gloss uh, and also colored labels for these. And this one is, like I say, a handheld model. You know, doesn't have the batteries in it at the moment, but the batteries would go in there. Uh, and it's got a decent screen on it, um, quite large and nice angles. So it's the sort of thing if you want to store it and put it away, but some people make a lot of labels in their lives. And I am, I'm one, I'm one of those people that label just about everything. Why would you need to label everything? Because you pretty much need to stay organized. And it's also for others in the office who may not know where things are. I'll talk about this a little bit. Similar to the handheld model, desktop model is for someone who really does make a lot of labels during the day. So if you're, you know, a personal assistant or something like that and you're labeling files or you know filing anything of any nature or tasked with, you know, putting labels on cabinets, cupboards, uh, drawers, then having the desktop version where you just sit in creating these is really a good option. What makes this different to the other is also the broadness of the keys, uh, different to this one and some of the others on the market. Nice large print button, nice large space bar. You can save and store in folders the different types of labels that you create. So you can see the, the save and the folder there. And then you have, that was my on switch, this is your cutter. It remembers the last label that you actually printed. And this one does have batteries in it because I've turned it on and it also has the labels already in. This is the one that I use the most. And basically to make it function, you type what you'd normally type and then you hit print. So you can see it's saying printing there. And what you'll see is somewhere, it will be printing the label that was last printed. So that's useful too, if you're say naming something for your kids' lunch boxes or you know, labeling stuff for their school. So you can see it's printed there. And to get access to that, I just hit the cutter and now I have a label. They're not hard to use. They're, it's not rocket science to use a label maker, but a really useful sort of item that you can have both around the home and the office. So I always like to spruik those because I'm a big user and big believer that you should be organized. And that's one of the easiest ways to organize your home and office is to label stuff. And that way people know where stuff is, including yourself. So if you've got a bad memory, like someone like me, and you can't remember where you put stuff, then that might be a solution for you. And I'll move on to this next item. This next item is the 3D mood lamp, mood or moon. It is a moon lamp, but it's also a mood lamp. So if you're someone who wants to add a little bit of feature or accent lighting to your office space, then this might be an option for you. I first saw this in the uh, Dead to Me series of, um, of videos right dead to me i'm not sure if you're familiar with the show you may be you may not be but this was in the kids room and i thought it was pretty neat but it's the sort of thing that you can actually put in your own office so if you want something that's like a feature that's a mood lamp or a light that sort of grabs a little bit of attention sets a bit of a mood then the mood lamp is an option and it comes with a cable it comes with a, a user manual a remote control and also your charge cable. You can change the different colors using the remote control to any number of colors that you feel suit your mood. It also has various modes as well. If you want to disco in the uh, office, you could do that. Then you have sort of your slower 360 color lighting where it just cycles through all the different colors. And you also have, uh, you know, a fade where it's just going to fade in and fade out between colors. Of course, you just have your standard like flash, slow flash. 
it's one of those items that you know you might say oh i don't need that for the office but uh, i've thrown it in there because this i do keep in my office as a bit of a mood lamp or mood light i also have a wax uh, over there that um <laughs> wax belt uh for fragrance so a little bit of aromatherapy in the office so i mean some people say you have the whole world in your hands i've got the moon in my hands and it really um is lightweight it's a 3d printed plastic uh, meant to you know replicate the moon and you can see i almost look like some sort of what's the word soothsayer or fortune teller with this in my hand here so a really nice option like for the office to give yourself a little bit of a, a mood light or mood lamp particularly if you're someone who likes to rest in the office too which i do i have a nice recliner over there and occasionally i need to meditate or something like that or just you know clear my mind a little bit this is the sort of thing that you can put in a corner of a room that's going to give you some ambient light uh, it is also touch as i said it charges at the bottom here and you know you can touch it to turn it on off and change all the different colors as well so if you don't have the remote with you it's not going to stop you from using this as i say saw it in the i think it was the bedroom of the uh character on dead to me the youngest kid that's in that series or was in that series and i thought it was pretty neat so i got one for the office uh and i think it's a nice little feature that you can add if you want something you know as a bit of an accent again to your office to make your work environment feel that little bit more homely all right moving right along if you have a look at the carousel you will notice that i have been talking into this microphone the whole time on this live stream and that's because this is a pod mic from Rode, and it's the pod mic that i use for both my podcast and also for my live streams here on amazon it's a metal construction full metal construction uh, and it is also running into the item next in the carousel, which is the Rodecaster Pro 2, which makes them quite evenly matched. I did do a full live stream on this product in my last live stream. So if you want to go follow me and check out my storefront here on the Amazon platform, you can go watch a walkthrough of the Rodecaster Pro 2. And also this item here, I talk about what makes it such a good microphone. It is a broadcast quality microphone made by road which is quite reputable they are an australian company too some people may not know that but that is one of my selling points too is a bit biased there but full metal construction weighs around uh, almost one kilogram in the metric system so about 800 grams or something and it has a bit inbuilt windshield it has a inbuilt pop blocker and it also has a inbuilt shock mount around the diaphragm of the microphone. It is a dynamic microphone. So what that means is that it doesn't need phantom power to operate, unlike a condenser microphone, which does. And uh, as you can hear the quality, you can determine whether you think the quality is worth the money for what you see there in the carousel. So uh, broadcast quality microphone from Rode, the pod mic, a cardioid. And cardioid means that it's uh, sort of direction towards the front so your voice gets carried into the microphone but behind the microphone doesn't pick up as much noise so if you say a podcast or you're in business and you want to have a podcast because a lot of businesses these days are using content marketing it's actually something i help businesses with by the way too is uh, helping them i'm a content marketing coach as well as a basketball coach so i help businesses locally leverage uh, digital content 24 seven um, to make it work like a digital employee for them. And this is the equipment that I use to do that for my business. And it's one of the pieces of equipment that I use uh, or sorry, recommend to other businesses that are wanting to say, start a podcast and or YouTube channel. So I help people obviously do that as well on another platform, which I won't talk about here because this is Amazon. But anyway, that's the pod mic and the next item is the roadcaster pro 2 which i've moved in the carousel I'm just going to go to my movable so what you can see is this is the roadcaster pro 2 that i'm currently using on the on this live stream so if you can see that you i don't know how well you can see it but basically you can see the first channel there is popping up and down as i talk so that is actually the channel that my microphone is plugged into and as i say i did a live stream on that last week so if you do want to know more about that, you're more than welcome to check that live stream out.
because I do a, walk, a thorough walkthrough of that. It is also up on YouTube. You can go and check it out on YouTube. Um, if you can find Modern Media Makers on YouTube, then that's on YouTube as well, the walkthrough that I did last week here on Amazon. So the other thing is, is you may wonder how I'm getting this beautiful lighting behind me. Well, I'm not going to lie. It is the newer two-pack dimmable LED lights there. I won't pick them up. You can see one if you're sort of looking down there somewhere here where my hand is. You can see it there. That's the blue one, right? So if you're wondering how am I casting this amazing color rainbow of red and blue behind me, um, yeah, those two lights are sitting on the ground. They're just USB lights. So if you want to add some flavor or color to your live streams, or even, you know, in the office, if you're on Zoom, you can make yourself look like a YouTuber or a content creator. Um, just throwing a little bit of light. Uh, again, offers some ambience and gives a different feel and effect. The psychology of color, I should have called this live stream the psychology of color because both these colors, one's passive, one's aggressive. I guess you know which one. <laughs> Maybe I'm a passive aggressive live streamer, I don't know. But one of them represents the, like a cool and calm color, which is blue. And red is an aggressive color. So if you're not aware of that, they're quite contrasting and they do look quite good. Um, what you don't see is you may see a little bit of purple over in the corner there, and that's actually another light. But while we're talking about color, because I did say that we're talking about color, talk about these items. So next in the carousel, you can check it out. You got your be, uh, early buy you know, sticky notes. So these come in a variety of colors. You can see them all there. So blue. Yellow, green, oh, I'm dropping them. So, all right, I think you get the idea, you know what a post-it note is. I've got to drop them all otherwise. They're what I use in the office. So I'm sharing what I use in the office and they brighten up your day. You put them everywhere, again, color, make stuff sticky, remember that, which is why we're on to the next one. Now, now we're talking about all lights and bright. So here we go, Sharpie, obviously reputable brand. These are your highlighters, right? So these are your uh, Fluo XL model of highlighters. So similar to other highlighters, it's these are vibrant compared to some of the others that you may get. And, you know, if you're someone who, you know, wants to highlight a whole heap of things, then this is going to provide all you'll need as far as highlighting text goes. So you can just see there. They do the job of a highlighter. I don't want to bang on about them too much. Um, but while I'm on the Sharpie brand, I'll, um, I do want to say that that's, a, a, you know, one of the more popular items that you may need in your home and or office, uh, particularly the office. But even gifting those sorts of things to your kids uh, when they go sort of back to school or something like that after their summer break, you know, most people have a use for those items. Moving along to the next one. So this is as big as you probably can get. This is the Magnum, right? It almost sounds like, actually, I'll keep that egg because I'm going to ride on it. It almost sounds like a weapon. <laughs> so, so the Sharpie Magnum, look at the size of that. That is absolutely massive. Uh, this is a permanent marker, so you don't want to ride on your whiteboard with this one. It is a permanent marker. And I can tell you just straight up, I don't want to leave the lid off too long because it is quite potent. And um, I'm worried that I might have too much fun sniffing whatever's coming out of that. But it is like massive, like for writing. So, I mean, you're not going to get any bigger than that probably with a Sharpie. So if you're someone that needs to mark, you know, something large and that's permanent, then, you know, the Sharpie Magnum's certainly an option uh, for you. Now, why would I have a Sharpie that size in the office? Well, as I shared, I am a basketball coach. So Coach Craig Rowe, if you are wondering why I have the name uh, Coach Craig Rowe, I do coach sport. And these, believe it or not, are sometimes, with permission of athletes and parents, used to mark numbers when we're at selections. So if we have a large number of people trialing for, a, for basketball, then we actually mark uh, their hand or arm with a Sharpie so that we can work out who corresponds to what number and um, we don't go by names. And I just wanted to share that. It might seem a bit strange, you know, to, to have such a thick Sharpie, but if you're writing on signage, say temporary, you're running a meeting or you're running something, A, you can clearly see it from the back of a room. So if you have like a sheet on, uh, you know, have some people use the, the sheets instead of the whiteboards, then this is something you can use on, on those. And also, if you are writing signage 
just temporary that you're putting up to direct people to where they need to go, then, you know, a large you know, Magnum Sharpie is probably going to do the trick. And again, this is a black, but they do come in other colours as most of these items uh, do. So if I'm showing you a black pen, the chances are you can check out on Amazon if you want it in a blue or something like that. You're going to get the ink in the colour that you actually want. So something to consider as well. Now, I did say I talked about the Expo markers earlier. I use a couple of other markers in the office and I use these on a different whiteboard. The reason that is, is because one of my whiteboard gets used a lot. The other of my whiteboards is something that I use over the long term. So what I tend to do, and I'm not sure how you work in your office, but I have whiteboards for different purposes but one of my whiteboards is like a long-term whiteboard so I literally write stuff on that board and I'll never look at it again so as it well that's not that, that's a fib I look at it but I might not look at it for six months nine months and what I do is I go back to that board purely to see what I've achieved in my longer term goals and I wipe them off but I and, and it actually sits at the front of the door when I open the door I don't even look at it when I come in because I know subconsciously I'm probably looking at it. So it's this constant reinforcement of the goals that I want to achieve over a longer term. It's a little strategy that I developed um, over time to work on being, you know, successful, I guess. And uh, that's just one of the things I do is I walk straight in the door. This whiteboard faces me. It's long term goals. I don't stop and pause to read it because subconsciously I believe I'm seeing it. And then what I do six, nine months later, I'll go back to that board. And these are the pens I use on that because I don't want them. They, they're not like the dry erase. Once they're on, they aren't permanent, but you need a cleaner to get them off. Um, they are the Luma Color Stadler pens, and I've got the black one and the blue one here. I put them in the carousel. So if you want something that's a little bit more uh, longer term and permanent, um, then you're not going to go wrong with uh, these sorts of whiteboard markers. Obviously, this isn't this isn't a whiteboard and I don't have a small one here, but they work in the same way as the dry erase markers, right? So they, they're, no, they're no different, but they are the Stadler brand, Luma Color, you know, whiteboard markers. They're not permanent markers. And uh, you can also put them on people as well and they wash off easily. Not this, not you should, but as a basketball coach, that's what we have to do with selection sometimes is do that. Now, I throw, threw this one in because I didn't realize it was on Amazon and because I'm sharing with you, um, I do have a DSLR camera, which I can connect to my computer. I'm using a different camera, which I'll show you later. I have two of these other cameras, which I'll talk about. But if you're wondering how you can connect a DSLR camera to your computer, then this next item is a really affordable option. It's actually called a HDMI video capture. Uh, USB device, right? And it's so easy to use. It literally didn't need any software. Windows, I use a Windows machine. Actually, move that out of the way so you can see it. It didn't come with the cable. So that cable's um, just to show you, I'm, I'm using a HDMI to mini HDMI cable. But this is the item here. And what it allows me to do is plug in my DSLR Panasonic camera to my computer and use it as a webcam. So it's not something I choose to do with my setup here, but I have done it for YouTube when I've done talking head videos. I've used my DSLR camera plugged into my system and gone live to drive as uh, some of my content creator friends say. Uh, and this is an item that helps me achieve that with my Lumix G7, so my Panasonic Lumix G7. Um, I'm not sure if it works with all cameras, but I certainly would imagine if you have a HDMI to mini HDMI connection on your camera, then it will provide an option for you. I thought I'd share that with you because I was only looking the other day, I was actually got it out to use it. And I'm like, oh, I wonder if that's on Amazon. I wonder if that's a product that I can actually share and tell people about that, that they may not be aware of. And sure enough, what's not on Amazon, 320 million products on Amazon, it had to be there. And there it is in the carousel, you can check it out. Um, it is the HDMI video capture. Uh, card like USB adapter. So now I've shared this one before too on a previous live stream. So this is a portable uh, Ultra HD, what's a DLP projector. Now, if you're someone who presents to offices, like at the office, and you want portability, this actually has an inbuilt battery. Um, it comes with a number of cables, which are in a case, which I won't show you. I just wanted to show you this item. It comes and has a little stand. I'll just show you here, it's probably easier. Uh, we'll go this one. So 
you can see 4K DLP projector has its on switch, USB inputs, HDMI. This is where you plug in power to charge it and or supply power. Has a little stand, as I just showed you here. Has the ability to mount it as well on a stand. So if you choose to, which is what I do here at the office, um, you can do that. You have a focal adjustment here. Um, this is where the projector projects and you also have the ability to put an SD card in this. So you also have an output with headphones, right? So this little projector is a smart projector. So I'll just turn it on. Hopefully it's charged up. Um, if it's not, that's on me. And it also has keystone correction. It comes with a remote control. Sorry if I'm shining it in your eyes. So it can go quite large too. It's a it's the sort of item that as a basketball coach, I show athletes if we're at a tournament and I want to review a game, then I'm able to show this projector to them. I'm able to put games up and we're able to go over game footage. Given that it's got a battery, the battery lasts around one and a half to two hours. And you can see there that it comes with a number of apps, including YouTube and Netflix and things like that. So it has the time on it there. Um, you can see the battery's flat. I do need to charge it, but it has a browser for the internet. Um, you have your HDMI in, you can you know share folders and share screens and all sorts of wonderful and amazing things. And what's interesting is you can't sort of see it, but as I move it, you can see it actually. Um, it has automatic keystone correction. So as I move that back and forth, wherever I put it, it sort of adjusts to keep it square. And it's just doing that as I move it back and forth and it can go quite large and you can see it's quite clear as a mini projector. And I don't think you can go wrong with then this again at home and or office, I'll just shut it down there. Uh, it does have Bluetooth as well. So you can connect it to a Bluetooth speaker. Um, the sound speaker in this is not the greatest quality, but if you're presenting you know, at a meeting, then you're probably not going to worry too much about the sound uh, if you're not displaying video and you're just using a, a slideshow. It does also read PowerPoint and PDF files. So you can install those on a USB or SD card and read them and be able to display those. And you can use a remote uh, that comes with it. Uh, as I said, all that stuff's in a bag, but I just wanted to show you the actual projector itself. Um, I do have all that stuff. I just didn't want to drag it out. I have enough mess on my table without dragging all that stuff out. And um, I've got two more items on the carousel. And this is the main camera that I actually use, which is in front of me. And I will show this so that you know that I'm not telling fibs. So, Above my computer here, you're going to see, actually, I don't think you can see me pointing at it, uh, here. So here's my finger, and you can see here, this thing, this black thing is actually a Mevo. So if you're not familiar with Mevo, Mevo actually started as its own company, but it's been bought out by Logi, so Logitech. So the Mevo is a product that I have two cameras and I use them on my YouTube channel. Um, they have a newer version. So I've got the older version, but the older versions are still available. And YouTube, uh, not YouTube, so Amazon bugs me all the time telling me to do a video of them um, because they still sell them as refurbished. So this is the Mevo Plus. So this is original to the Mevo Go. So this is a live streaming camera. And what it has is it has the... It has an Ethernet connection, USB, um, and a charge port. And this is actually what they call a boost stick, and it lasts for 10 hours. So this is a battery pack. And then you have the camera itself. And it is a wireless live streaming camera, and it is a 4K camera. Now, it can connect using, at the moment I'm using Vimeo, but Logi have just launched their own platform, similar to StreamYard, which is a product that I use to stream as well. It allows you to connect to their platform and also restream to multiple platforms. And it also allows you to put in an SD card where you can record direct to SD, which actually goes at the back here. So that's an SD card. So you can record on the fly. Now, what makes this absolutely amazing, and I'm not able to demonstrate this, so there's a few things that this, why I've got this camera. I've got a number of reasons why I've got two of them actually, is because they gave me the ability to set and forget in corners when I'm filming and knowing that they've got 10 hours of battery life. But not only do they have the ability for me to go live to multiple platforms, 
in a multicam environment, they also come with an app that runs on the iPad that allows you to have nine virtual camera angles. It's a 4K camera, but when you reduce it to 1080p or 720, it allows you to have nine different camera angles that you can pre-program into this that you can set to autopilot and it will actually auto cut for you in real time. So I use these on the People With A Passion podcast on YouTube. So if you want to see them in action, go to my in-studio interviews and you'll actually see the Mevos working. They look like someone's, I have a camera operator there, but no, I don't. I have a Mevo Plus camera and they are available still on the Amazon platform uh, as refurbished because they're not actually available anymore. They're out of production. But there is the Mevo Start, which is the latest version, which gives you two hours of uh live streaming time. So that's pretty much the camera that I'm, or the main camera that I'm using here to talk to you um, in front of, as a front on uh, facing forward camera, forward facing camera. The last thing I wanted to share with you is the, uh, some people wonder, you know, get distracted when I change certain cameras, what might well be in the background of my room when I keep moving sort of back sometimes or go to get something. So I'm just gonna move out of the way here. There's the purple light. So I'll try and move some of this out of the way so you can sort of see this because it's gonna get a little bit tricky. Move him out of the way as well. So you can see the purple light there and in the corner of the room is, actually I've got to move out of the way. So in the corner of the room, you can see that there is a, a microphone isolation booth. So in that very corner is what's on the carousel now. So you may ask, okay, what is that? Which some people have, and that's why I'm sharing it. And um, why would you need it? So if you're someone who records a podcast or needs to record audio and you want good quality and you have a large office like I do and you need to reduce the reverb in a room, then this is going to be an option to achieve that result. So it is a portable isolation booth. It has some soundproof foam on it and it goes around the microphone that you saw there and then you basically talk into it if you need to narrate for a video or just narrate for a podcast or something like that. So if you're doing some narration work and given that I have you know, cert certified voiceover and also radio experience, it's an item that I use when I need to do just narration or voiceovers. So that's the item that you see last there in the carousel. And with that, we're through everything. We've gone through the whole live stream today. Um, so I want to say thank you for your time and patience with me as I went through all those different items. There's so many items there that uh, I think we got through 31 or 32 items today on this live stream. And I'm not even sure how long <laughs> it's gone. I, I, it, may, it's, it went that quick. I felt like I was abducted by aliens. But re realistically, um, I love that you were here. I love that you've taken the time to come out of your day to share some time with me and some of the products that I share. And hopefully you will follow me and follow my storefront and catch up with me in a future live stream. And until then, I want to say thank you so much for being here. I, ha I wish you an absolutely amazing day wherever you are in the world. Take care and I will hopefully catch you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.